We are at Cafe Pinar, which is a Cuban eatery here. They got steam tables set up to where you can just walk up, pick your selection. Kind of like a food court in a way, but in their own personal type of environment. As soon as you walk in, you get lots of just bursting aromatics just covers your, your scent. And they have everything from pernil. How do you say pernil? Pernil. Pernil. Okay, my bad. Pernil, you know what I mean? People are roasting me in the comments like, I don't like the way he said it. But they have pernil. They got steak and onions here. You get your selections of rice. Just pretty much point out what it is that you want and they'll bring it right to you. Good old comfort Cuban food here at Cafe Pinar. So stay tuned for the video. Make sure you subscribe. And let's get into some diabolical Cuban food eating. <laughs> So they have the Cuban sandwich and the steak sandwich. All right, so let's get into some diabolical eating. You know, I'm gonna just do the sandwich because it's staring me right at the face. So the sandwich, it looks like it's just toasted on both sides here. It looks soft. They got the, the lettuce and tomatoes and the onions and the steak. Look at the steak. Y'all see us? So this is the steak sandwich here at Cafe Pinar. Am I saying that right, Pinar? Woo! Yeah, I just had a piece, I just had a piece of that steak because it was laying there on the cutting board. Cuban comfort food. Cheers. Mm. 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 That buttery bread. The steak actually puts up no fight. That steak is so tender. Mm. Mm. Nice crunchy onions. This is fabulous. Baby, wanna try? Definitely different type of breading here in Florida. But it goes so well with the steak sandwich. The steak is like so thin and tender at the same time. Can y'all see it? Look how thin and tender that steak is. Mm. So I've seen. All this stuff looks familiar to me back home. So I wonder what makes like Cuban food and like Puerto Rican food, Dominican food different. Cause it looks like the ingredients kind of look similar, but maybe it's more of the impl implementation. But this is the rice. They put like a scoop of gravy on here. Can y'all see that? Potatoes. And I'm excited about the steak because when I bit into that steak sandwich, that steak and that steak sandwich was like ultra, ultra tender. Y'all see this? Look at this. It's gonna be the bite. It's gonna be a bite that's gonna rock your world right here. I had steak with that rice, man. I'm just like a comforting meal that I needed. Mm. Hopefully y'all not watching this on the empty stomach. I'm gonna tell y'all that. Look at that, extra gravy or extra sauce. Give me some of this. Mm. Mm. 
potatoes is covered in that sauce. And this meal would not be complete if I didn't have no plantains, you know what I mean? This, this place is about 10 minutes from the airport, so if you want a great meal, once you land or once you depart, Cafe Pernil, I'm gonna leave the in info in the description. Pernil? Pernil. You just said oh. Pernil. <laughs> I'm saying Pernil because I got roasted so much. People are like, oh, just irking pernil. the way you're saying it. Cafe Pernil. Only maybe about 10 minutes at that from the uh, Orlando airport. So whether you're departing or arriving, this place right here is a fantastic joint. Oops. That was favorite. Damn. What's this right here, bro? Paca frita. What is that? Pork? Shredded beef. Shredded, shredded beef. beef. Fried. Fried shredded beef. I'm gonna show y'all. This is my this is my cousin right here. Say what's up, man. What's going on, man? How you guys doing? I mean, it's <laughs> Ivan right here. He's he's the one that runs the establishment, and I was just telling them like whether they're leaving the airport or coming from the airport, this has got to be one of these stops. Sure. You know what I mean? Come see Ivan too. He'll hook it up. Having some beer, some wine before you leave. Relax on the flight home, and enjoy some good food as well. I'll leave all the information in the description. Come check them out. I'm telling you this place is. Uh, it is a great atmosphere, great food. This is how I know it. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers to y'all. Cafe Pinar. Did I say it right? Mm -hmm. So where's this spot right here? <laughs> so I don't think I've ever had fried beef. Your family ever made fried beef for me? I don't know. So do you eat this with rice or do you put it in a sandwich? It looks like it can belong on both. Right? Yeah. You can put this in bread. But I'm going to eat it the way it is because... I don't even know what happened to my fork. Did it's I eat? Did I eat my fork? It's that one. I moved your plant to make oh. room for the plate. <laughs> Thought I ate my fork there for a second. Let's try this out. Ooh, so looks like it's slow cooked, shredded, but then they put it on the flat top grill. It looks beautiful. It looks, looks like you can either eat this with rice or put it in some some bread, make a sandwich out of it. But look at that. Mmm. 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 Yeah, the, the sandwich itself, banging. That, that steak was so tender, it didn't feel like it. Like, it was probably more tender than the actual bread. Yeah. It was so good. That's my favorite sandwich that we make. Y'all gotta try the sandwich too, man. I'm gonna show y'all again. It's like a buttery, tender type of sandwich. Got the cheese in there, got the tomatoes, the lettuce. Mm. This, this is how I know we we in the right state when the avocados are that big. Yeah. We so cannot get avocados, avocados that big back home. No. You know? that we so places back home we have our spots. But what I notice about the food here is that it's beautifully seasoned. It's not overly salty. Like it has the right amount of salt. Yeah, I noticed that. Right? You notice that now, right? That's one thing I noticed. I noticed uh, the way they, they, they cook their steak, it's tender, but they just season it just right. You know what I mean? The way, I guess the way things are supposed to be seasoned, because we're at a point now, we're older, we tend to overly salt things before we actually taste it. You know what I mean? But the way they season this here, it's just right. It don't need nothing else. Like it has the right amount of salt, the right amount of tenderness, the rice, I mean, Three selections of white rice. What do you call this rice again, babe? Moro. Moro. I only have moro during the holidays. Is it before Christmas? No, I mean moro is like a. It's a red rice. A get together. A party rice. Um, yeah, because either that or um, locrio and the other stuff. Like it's just you can serve a lot of people at the same time mm -hmm. versus like having like the pot of red beans and the white rice separately. This is just easier for gatherings. So it's not just the holidays. Cafe Pinar, thank you so much. Ivan, thank you for the hospitality. Great service here too. Like I said, it's only 10 minutes away from the airport. So whether you're going or coming, this is a great place to stop to get you some nice Cuban comfort food. I'm getting full. I'm getting full, I've been full. I've been, I made it there already. So thank y'all, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you back in the tri-state. Peace.